Lord ka Jesu. Amen. Lord ka Jesu. Amen. Oba yiraye. Ela da wa. Ololu fe awa re niyan. Ha doka lawo re. Fo en fe nla. E fe awa ma ri di. To ni si awa re niyan. Ko to da ye. Ko to da wa. Awa re ni. Kajete elaye. Kaba ube la elaye. E ye ne te kwali. Fwe to lele ye to aye la ye. Olo a yo. Olo a do kwe. Olo a gwa kwe wa. Ladu yi. Neno oro le. E to logo ye to aye la ye ya katuli. Amen. Awati olo. La te fea ya katuli si. Amen. Awan e da wole. Te wan fea kwa jye te wan. Olo a si wani ye. Amen. Olo a jako ye wan. Amen. Ata wa olu so. Ata wan. E tu aye la ye na. O la jo je te wa. Amen. Na wala wala du ye o. Amen. Baba bere lo ni. Amen. Ni o suke jila. Baba kwa li. Amen. Ki bo 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 je te wa la no wa. Amen. Agba dra. Lo lu kwa jesu kristi. Oluwa wa Amen Ogo ni falanu ala yi Alleluia Glory be to the living God Ogo ni fun oba ye raye Alleluia Glory be unto you the eternal king Akori e ko wa ni eleyi This is the topic of our teaching Olanu oba ye raye God the eternal king you made me for your everlasting kingdom therefore help me my entire life let me spend it to follow you and belong to you so that when you will come to establish the everlasting kingdom that I may partake of it all of you God's people who heard our messages last year this year we welcome you again in the name of Jesus our Lord to this teaching of dwelling with God last week which has now become last year our golden text which we explained using another Bible references was the revelation chapter 11 verse 15 through 17 in the Bible reference, Aka, we read that the angels of God said, The Lord and His Christ, 
will come down to the earth to take over all the kingdoms of the world from all men who are administering them now they continued that the one who they called the Lord and is Christ, who is one being, he is the Lord God Almighty. When we read from this book of Revelation, that the Lord and is Christ, or the Lord God Almighty would come down to this our earth. Then we said, These saints of the angels in their worship to God. Definitely, the Almighty must fulfill it. He must come down to this earth so that we, his saints, his redeemed, will live forever with him. And what Bible witness did we use? It's Ephesians chapter 1, verses 4 and 5. In that Bible reference, the God of heaven possessed the Apostle Paul to reveal to us a great secret. And the secret is ever before God made this world we are in, before he made us sons of men in it. He had a purpose in his heart for us sons of men he would make in the world. And this is the purpose in verse 4 of Ephesians chapter 1. There God says we human creatures would be holy for him in all our days in the world. Therefore, that is in all our days, we sons of men would belong to him, and in order for us to belong to him, we must be holy. In verse 5 of that Bible chapter, the Spirit of God continues through the Apostle Paul, saying, God proposed that we would belong to Him holy. Because he would make us sons of men, his children. See, we have said repeatedly in our preceding teachings that it was not us sons of men only that God desired that would reign with him in his kingdom. The angels too who he made before us human beings who he made to be with him in heaven above and who he called his ministers 
to minister unto him forever. And that they should worship him forever. It had made them to be with him in heaven above, and they have begun their own ministrations. We human beings in our own case, as we have read in the book of Ephesians, we could not be his ministers, his servants. Right from this world, we would be children of God. When it is time before God to descend to this our hearth, we sons of men will not be servants like the angels. But we shall forever be God's children. And he will be our father forever. We shall forever be kingdom children who will shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of our father. In our preceding explanations, on this Ephesians chapter 1, verses 4 and 5, using Bible references, we have shown clearly that this eternal purpose of God for us human beings it is that purpose he pursues on us till today and he will continue to work on it until it shall come and we shall be joined eternally with him when he will say it is done in our preceding explanations we have shown how it's in spirit he put in us the sons of men that we might belong to him According to his purpose for us in Ephesians 1, verses 4 and 5, when we read in the Bible, Genesis, in Genesis, we that it was the very spirit that God uses that he has put in us then we will understand that we must belong to him in all our days in the world. Therefore, it was right from our creation that God had begun to fulfill his purpose for us in Ephesians 1, verses 4 and 5. His own life he uses his livingness, he put it in us to make it our own life. As we have had in the preceding weeks, all other creatures, that are animals that have spirits and bodies, that don't have only bodies, God did not give his own spirit to them. Both their bodies and their spirits, God called out of the dust. And therefore, it was right from our creation that God had begun to fulfill his purpose for us in Ephesians 1, verses 4 and 5. That we shall be forever for him, the eternal God. 
That's Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4. Christi lai lai yo so wa do mo un lai lai yi ni efeso leke na ese kan. And that is the eternal Christ would make us his children forever. That's Ephesians 1 verse 5. Allah to test wa ju. God continued. Lori eto le kan yi na. On this same program of his. Fa wa eniyan. For us sons of men. Ni gba tele eniyan subu. When man fell the other nipoku and we became enemies for hell time wa ko ne balorun pe mo and our spirits would no longer dwell with god alorun to pe akore ka sodo ara le ninu aye then god called a man to himself in the world office e pele eto re ni efesu fa wa ide ni he made him the foundation of his program for us, the sons of men in Ephesians. In Abraham. That is Abraham. We have read it many times. In Genesis chapter 17. Verse 7. God said he made an everlasting covenant with him that it would be long to him forever and the children who he would rear would be long to him forever he God would be the God of Abraham all the children of Abraham God would also be their God then God continued on this singular program of his that we men would dwell forever with him and that he would dwell with us forever he, the everlasting Father, the mighty God, he came to the world as a son. He, the word of God, who is God, the world, as we have read in John chapter 1, verse 1. He came to the world as man. As we have read in John chapter 1, verse 14. And when he came as man, he came in the lineage of Abraham. Abraham. So that he would be Abraham seed that he made as the sons of men, children of God. That's Matthew chapter 1, verse 1. God continued in the fulfillment of his purpose in Ephesians 1, verses 4 and 5. We sons of men that we would belong to him while in the world we would belong to God eternally and we shall forever dwell with him in his kingdom then God continued when he came as man when he came through Abraham all the kingdom works which he did on has sons of men was just one and that is we would be children of God that's Ephesians chapter 1 verses 4 and 5 and as we read it last week the Lord then shows in the Bible that as many of us human beings who confess that we accept Christ as our Lord and Savior which is the sign that in death and in living, we belong to the Lord, and we belong to Him eternally. 
Olorun ti pe Jesus wo wa. The Bible says God has put Jesus on us. Ni gba ku gba. Any time that God will look upon us. Christ it is Christ who he has put on us that God will see. Therefore, Christ has made us children of God. Therefore, Adama Abraham gagabe ma je mu aye raye tolorun ba Abraham da and we who have become God's children the purpose of God is written on our lives we become Abraham's children according to the covenant God has made with him Allah ti ko le sheke God that can never tell lies to te penu ninu okan re ko to da aye ko to da wa si who had the purpose in his heart before he made this world and made us human beings in it there's a singular program of his which is an eternal program he fathered it we read it last week that all of us who have believed in Jesus as our savior and who have been baptized we have become children of Abraham and once we are Abraham's children and once we are Abraham's children then God has fulfilled his purpose for Abraham all of us who are Abraham's children are now children of God Last week, Galatia, we read Galatians chapter 3, verse 7. Now read it to us again. Galatia, Galatians chapter 3, verse 7. Yes. Yes. I Yes. I Abraham. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the extent to which God has walked. Christ has come to the world. All of us who have believed in Christ. Abraham have become Abraham's children. Once we have become Abraham's children by our faith in Christ. Then we are hands of the promise of God to Abraham in Genesis chapter 17 verse 7. At Genesis Genesis And in Genesis chapter 22 verse 18. Galatia Oriketa Read Galatians chapter 3 verse 26 through 29. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's Ephesians chapter 1, verse 5. Christ has made us children of God. Remember that in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 5 Paul says that the eternal program of God for us is sons of men is that we would become as children in Christ now Galatians chapter 3 verse 26 Christy taught a while ye. O Cesar Aquada. O Cesar Cadoma. Tia Bate Bagbo. O Tesawa Doma. Says Christ has come to the world. 
He has done the redemption work. So we believe in him, he will make us the children of God. Why are we making repetition? It's to make us all understand. That the eternal program of God for us, the sons of men, is to accept Christ and become God's children and remain so until we shall depart this world. How of you who claim to be great in the world? But you do not accept Christ. You don't become children of God. You do not watch for the coming of Christ. Then you have removed yourselves from the eternal program of God. When Christ shall come, to establish the kingdom of God. And the Lord shall come to join himself to his Christ to establish his everlasting kingdom. We who have received the program of God who have believed in Christ who have become children of God who have become children of Abraham when we shall reign with Christ when we shall forever dwell with God all of you who are becoming great in the world but you have nothing to do with Christ God will say to you depart from me I never knew you when Christ will destroy this world and we destroy you in the lake of fire. This eternal program of God for man is the singular thing God attends to in the world. It's the singular work of God on us, sons of men in the world. That we should accept Christ. And by so doing, become God's children. Become Abraham's children. The promise of God for Abraham. That he would be his eternal child. That he would be his eternal son. And we who are also children of Abraham. That we will be his eternal children. And we will be our God forever. That God might execute it for us. Now read in verse 27. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you Yes. Yes. As we have read. In verse 26. Once we become children of God. Once Christ has made us God's children. And as we have read again. In that verse 27, once we have put on Christ by becoming children of God, what is our attendant gate? Now, verse 29, the last verse. Yes. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 3. Verse 29. They are Paul says. 
leading of the Holy Spirit that once we are Christ tabi Christ made us children of God. According to the purpose of God in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 5. We are Abraham's children. And we are heirs of God according to his promise. Paul says in verse 29 that once we are Christ that he has made us children of God then we are like Isaac a son born by Abraham and who inherited the promise of God for Abraham like Isaac I want to We too become heirs of the promise of God because we are Abraham's children. What are we trying? To make you people see. Oh no, it's that the program of God for us human beings in Ephesians chapter 1 verses 4 and 5 the program which God had purposed from eternity past is the singular thing which God works on in the world that is that man should belong to God that man should, be, should become God's children by our faith in Christ and by so doing that we should become Abraham's children and we become heirs of the promise the promise of God becoming our God forever and that we too should become God's children forever that's the singular program God works on in the world if we find anyone who doesn't join God to do it but what he desires to become in the world is his preoccupation in the world every day he won't inherit the promise of God because in the world now he doesn't accept the adoption of sons he doesn't become a child of God when Christ will come the one who came to make us children of God when he comes to establish his 1000 year reign such a person will not be there with Christ the eternal God who proposed that will make us his children in Christ when he too shall come to join himself to his Christ to establish his everlasting kingdom all human beings in the world who don't accept Christ who don't accept adoption of sons they won't dwell with God forever all men who don't accept Christ now in the Revelation chapter 5 when Christ will receive that book from the Father he will receive the book of the destruction from all those who don't accept Christ from the throne above the throne which he uses with God with whom he is one Christ it's from, it's from that throne that Christ will send his angels to pour down us and all those who don't become God's children. After using his angels, 
So I administer the instructions of all those who don't become God's children in the world. Don't Christ the Papa you over so call it. And he Christ himself will come down. When his feet shall touch the ground, he shall come down. When his feet shall touch the ground, he shall come down. It is not that we establish the kingdom. That's a party. But he will bring to consummation the destruction of all those. Who don't accept adoption of sons? When his feet shall touch the earth, and he brings to consummation the destruction. Father, talk to us about the Bible. About those who don't accept adoption of sons. When his feet shall touch the earth, and he brings to consummation the destruction. Father, talk to us about the Bible. About those who don't accept the adoption of sons. When his feet shall touch the earth, and he brings to consummation the destruction. Father, talk to us about the Bible. About those who don't accept the adoption of sons. When his feet shall touch the earth, and he brings to consummation the destruction. Father, talk to us about the Bible. What are we saying? How of you who are becoming things in the world now? But you are not involved in this singular program of God. Talking Christians are in drama. That Christ should make you children of God. When Christ will come? When Christ will come? Oh, I can't continue, Moshe. The first thing he will do. Oh, ne, can we hear the Lord in you? Is an eternal destruction on you. Oh, you will tell that whatever you may have become. For I didn't know I yet. For yourselves in the world. Ne, but it is your bad day. When Christ will come. He will administer his program of destruction on you. La la ba yi. Right now, it will tell you something about the Lord. The program which God is still doing in the world, the Christian ambassador, which is Christ is doing for him. Ne pa ne ne ma Christi. By the Holy Spirit of Christ, ona ne awa elenya. Is that we men? Kama aja wa Christi. Should confess Christ. Lolo a to lugala. As our Lord and Savior. Come as our daughter, and that he should make us God's children. Come as by Lady Abraham, and receive the promise of Abraham. Lady Abraham, we will lay lay the promise of dwelling forever with God. What about you, our Christ? You who are yet to come to Christ, let us be to you lay your Lord. To receive this eternal program of God, let us be Christ. To receive Christ. Come by Sodom and accept adoption of sons. Come by the Maliti, Joba. That you may be watching for the coming of the kingdom. Let God Christ be there. When Christ will come, yara ma baloni. Please come today. At a canon of Galatia, we have read in Galatians. Oli keta. Chapter three. Verse twenty nine. We are talking about the Bar Christi. That we. Who have accepted Christ? When we have become Abraham's children, so we are heirs of the promise. Like Isaac, about whom God said, Abraham, Abraham, the promise which I gave you, that you will be mine forever. That you will be mine forever. Hero, my name. Your children, my life. That your children too will be mine forever. He let him know. Cause I saw this Aki by you. No, that promise is passed on to Isaac now. Yala, when you know Genesis, you will go look. Read that quickly from Genesis chapter twenty-one. Verse twelve. Verse twelve. Tolo, na kwa lunto kasi. But that's what Paul is referring to. Verse Aki. The boy will let it all on from Abraham. It was Isaac who inherited the promise which God gave to Abraham. The one that he abagged by Jesus. And the week two who accept Jesus. The one that said I'm all alone. And have received the adoption of sons. The one that the boy will let it all on from Abraham. We too inherit the promise we got to Abraham. Genesis Genesis chapter 21 verse 12. Yes. 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 Nitori, Nino Isaki, Nyati Beiru Amore, 
nitori ninu isaaki ni a ti pe iru omo re e ni pa lo to ka si this is what paul is referring to galatia o re ka ta so gbo de ka in galatians chapter 3 verse 29 to ti aba te gba jesus that once we accept jesus to get us our adam olorun christ makes us the children of god awa na de ajogun ileri olorun be isaaki we are here of the promise of before we start today let's not forget what we have told you that that eternal purpose of god in Ephesians chapter 1 verses 4 and 5 god is still working on it till today the extent to which God has got to in the program now is that we sons of men as we should now come and accept Christ and accept adoption of sons this the Lord will continue with that we should come to Christ and accept the adoption of sons and become heirs of the promise the Christ will dwell forever with us. Like when we do, that is one thousand years. That we should become heirs of the promise. That the Lord and His Christ will forever dwell with us. At we, we say again. If you are yet to come to Christ. To confess him as your savior. And receive adoption of sons. If it is what you become in Nigeria. And what you become in the world. Is what to go about looking for. Christ is coming with destruction on you. You who won't reign with him. After destroying you. After destroying you. After destroying you. And he will establish his 1000 year reign so we who are receiving the kingdom program now and we are receiving adoption of sons and we shall dwell forever with God may God help us this is a singular program of God which God has for us the sons of men if we have received him we have received Christ he has made us a children of God and we have become Abraham's children and we have become heads of the promise of dwelling forever in the name of Jesus may we not slide back 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 Next week, we will make progress. We will be reading the Bible. Next, I will tell you about the story. Then, the extent that the Lord has gone to in His program. Oh, la kope le me nye. May the Lord be with your spirit. Amen. Amen.
Latima wa ebi ti e ka wa wa ni osogo ile ife ibadan akure eko ikare adu ekiti atawon ilu miran e fi atejise yiranse si odo ejo okan odo ejo odo meta to tele ra won eta aro ati okan E dara ko mo wa fo waka ti ire ayo on la la si ko yi kan na lo se tun bo ti ti la ti ti 